Hey guys, your boy Zig Zodius here bringing you guys another video. Uh, I figured I should have a lot more time now. Time to get this channel popping real quick. But uh, today I just had a topic. Um, I kind of, I guess it's kind of a habit of mine. Um, a lot of people talk about how they're grinding, how they're working hard. Um, when they have jobs, they have dreams, they have goals, they have lifting, football, sports. Uh, it can pretty much relate to any topic of working hard. Schoolwork, uh, YouTube gaming, video making, uh, movies, music, anything like that, guys. It's a... Uh, the topic deals with not working too hard. I know a lot of people talk about, they always say they're working so hard, they're grinding so hard, uh, the grind is real, they grind 24-7, 365, things like that, but all that's not true. There's, I don't know, a lot of you probably, if you're older, you probably realize it. Uh, if you're younger, not so much yet, if you haven't started working yet or anything like that. Uh, but Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't work too hard. You need to set a limit on the amount that you can work. You don't want to work yourself into the ground. And that's the problem I have. I, uh, I always, when I find something I like, I always do it too much. I always, that's how I am with everything. I, I work at it too much. I grind it too much to a point where I just can't stand it anymore. Uh, for example, jobs I try to do too much in such a short period of time I burn myself out I, I become exhausted of uh, I'm not my the same person I'm not myself I'm not as nice uh, I turn to a lot eviler person I become focused on something and I become too focused like I can't stop uh, it's just something built into my mindset it's just the way my mind works I guess uh, there may be other people with this problem. There may be people that don't have this problem. Uh, many people may not know what I mean until you get into the real world. Don't work yourself into the ground. Don't work to the point of exhaustion. Don't work into the point where you get sick of what you're doing. For example, music. I love music. I love listening to music. I love rap music. I love my favorite artists, uh, Hobson, Mac Miller, J. Cole, Kendrick. I love Dr. Dre, Tupac, all those people. But the problem with me is when they drop something new, I listen to it over and over and over again. I'll go through the album. I'm one of the only people that I know that does it. I just keep going through the whole album, cycling through, putting it on repeat. And I just keep listening to it and listening to it until I memorize every word, every line, every verse, the beats and all. And after I listen to it for about a week or so, because I play it about 100 times or so, Every chance I get, I can't take it anymore. I don't want to listen to it. I completely stop listening to it for a month or two at the least, uh, sometimes half a year. I know you got a lot of you probably know I listen to Hobson a lot. When his Knock Madness album came out, I listened to it so consistently, so much. I didn't start listening to it. was released last year, sometime around November, October. I listened to it so much. I didn't listen to it again for the next six months. I couldn't listen to it. I had so much of it memorized and everything and it would just play in my head. I couldn't take listening to it anymore. Um, when his Pound Syndrome album came out, I just kept listening to it and listening to it. Now I can't anymore. So uh, it's just, you can't burn yourself out. You can't overwork yourself or overdo something. A uh, YouTube, that's why I had to take so many breaks earlier on. I know I took them many a few weeks ago. I tried to do so much. I was recording. It does. It may not seem like it because I wasn't uploading all of them, but I was recording so much footage and editing it and gaming. I was at my computer 24-7 and I burned myself out. I lost interest in YouTube for a bit because I was doing it so much. It became more of a job. It became more of something that I was that I felt obligated to do. It didn't feel like something that I was enjoying to do anymore, like YouTube should be, like gaming should be. Uh, it became something like I was obligated to do, something that I just felt I had to do or I felt disappointed in myself. And that's not how you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it, you gotta take it one day at a time. You gotta, don't plan too far ahead. I keep planning 
I plan things way too far ahead. Something I really need to fix, something that's really wrong with my personality. I need to take things one day at a time and stop stressing myself out so much over little stuff. Like I, uh, I don't know if you guys exactly know what I'm referring to or know what I'm meaning. I don't know if any of you have these same problems, but I stress myself out about such little things that I shouldn't be worried about. Like I'm 16, I shouldn't be worrying about getting a second or third car, a fourth car. I shouldn't be worried about getting many cars. I shouldn't be worrying about uh, getting my own house, my own apartment quite yet. I still have time left. I'm only in high school, a junior. Uh, I know I should give those things some thought, and you guys all should too if you're getting in my age, but don't stress your out, yourself out so much about it. We have parents. We have people that are going to be able to help us along the way. I'm not saying let them do everything for you. Now, I'm not saying let them make your own living for you. I'm just saying that don't stress yourself out so much about uh, your future life. Like, guys in my bedroom. Uh, basically what I was saying before was just don't let anything kill your happiness, like whether it's a dream or anything. Uh, just don't focus so much on it that you lose sight of who you are. You So you don't lose your friends. Uh, you don't... Your dreams are your dreams for a reason. You're supposed to work towards them. Uh, don't necessarily not put them like over your, as your first priority, but don't necessarily lose all your friends because of them. Uh, don't stress yourself out. Don't lose your happiness over your dreams. Uh, and just don't take it too seriously to the point where you're just unhappy, miserable, and all that stuff. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. Nothing. Uh, bad or anything just don't kill yourself kill your happiness kill whatever opportunities you have because you're because you're trying to follow your dreams uh, if your dream doesn't make you happy then don't do it uh, it takes time your dreams will change everything will change uh, and it's not a big deal uh, if you change your dreams a couple of times um, I've changed my dreams a couple of times, uh, and that's all I really had to say to you guys today. I really hope you understood the message. If you did, leave a like, reading, and share with your friends. Let's get this video out there. Let's get people to hear this and understand so before they get out there and start killing their happiness and start being miserable because of working towards something. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Leave a like, reading if you want more videos, more vlogs, uh, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace out.